Amanda Troutman. I am piloting the library program here at Highland Academy in the Northeast. We are a public charter school and we serve the Montbello and Green Valley Ranch communities. When I was looking at the programs that we have available here at the school and the way that this school was connecting to our community, one of the areas that I saw as an opportunity was a chance to really get our students uh, involved in civic outreach and to connect our local community members with programs that were happening inside of the school. I felt like partnering the reading component with our civic component of outreach was the easiest avenue for connecting to community members. What's your name? Nice to meet you. I'm James. So we invited people into our building to commit to working with our students for the entire year, once a week. Not packs at all and reading with a specific reading buddy. Yes! <laughs> the Fairway Villas is an active adult community. We have 55 all the way up to 98 years young in the community. Oh! That's it! We figured it out! It's like having grandchildren right in their own backyard because they can give back and they can feel the need. The first time I talked to our kindergartners about a chance to have a reading buddy, you could see they were a little bit nervous, but that initial moment of introduction fades really quickly when you partner that experience with a chance to read really rich texts. Let's do something! Yay! And this chance to spend one-on-one -on -one time with someone who is an elder in the community it makes such a huge impact in the lives of these kids. Oh! And I think the converse is very, very true. Our volunteers come into this building and they get this infusion of joy from working with our youngest kids, our youngest scholars. They get this chance to build relationships in a new way. It's been really phenomenal. You guys are being silly. Who wears sunglasses? You wear sunglasses? In order for this program to really meet the needs of all of our students, we need community support. Uh, and that community support comes from volunteers coming into the building and it also comes from the financial support for the program. Getting books into everybody's hands every single week is a pretty intense endeavor and it requires resources. And those resources for us this year really look like having books available specifically dedicated to the program so that when our volunteers come in, they can come in with the assurance that their materials are ready to go and that they can access quality enriching text for our students. Now we can see, is that better? Ah. All right, so this says, put a lid on it. The importance of reading is that if a child cannot learn to read, then they cannot read to learn. Think about any subject of education you focus on. You have to read, and if you don't comprehend what you're reading, you're not able to actually do what it is you want to in life, not only to make a living for yourself, to make a difference also in, in the communities where you are. So that's why reading is so critical, whether you're a parent, whether you're a grandparent, your aunt and uncle, maybe you're just a friend or a community member. Reading is critical for our success as a city, as a state, and as a country.